Hey everyone, I'm Olivia Radcliffe and this is an eBeam Crash Course. So picture this, you've just made the decision to switch from ETO or Gamma to eBeam Sterilization. Congratulations! You'll have your initial call with me at eBeam Services. We talk about your product and the validation process. And I tell you that your packaging configuration is too dense. Yikes. End of the road, right? Well, not necessarily. E-beam processing is best for low to medium density products. And there are some products that are just simply too dense for e-beam. But for the vast majority of products, a simple packaging change can help make all of your e-beam dreams come true. For example, let's take a look at this cake. If we pour syrup over the top, it's not likely to penetrate through the entire cake, right? But if we reduce the density, the syrup penetrates the entire layer. So there you have it folks, with a simple packaging change, turns out you can have your cake and eat it too. We'll see you next time.